Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ruscio, and let's discuss three simple steps you can take to improve your female hormone balance, especially if you're suffering with PMS, irritability, mood swing, cramps. There is good news, there are three fairly simple, effective and natural things that you can do to improve those symptoms. And let me start off by documenting one of these, which is vitamin D, then we'll talk about gut health, then we'll talk about some herbal supplements that can also help you. But the big thing I want to touch on today, and we'll cover two studies to substantiate this, is that vitamin D does seem to be able to help women with the symptoms of PMS. So let's jump in by looking at the two studies that have documented this. Firstly, I'll put the abstract up here on the screen. High dose of vitamin D supplementation can improve menstrual problems, dysmenorrhea or cramps, and premenstrual syndrome in adolescence. So these authors start, vitamin D has a crucial role in female reproduction, possibly through its effects on calcium homeostasis, cyclic sex steroid hormone fluctuations, or neurotransmitter function. They set up a study where they looked at about 900, just under 900 adolescent girls, and they put them on once weekly 50,000 IUs of vitamin D. Now, that would break down to about 7,000 IUs per day, or of the vitamin D that I use in the clinic, that's about three to four drops. So it sounds like a lot, but it's actually not a supremely high dose. And after the intervention period of roughly nine weeks, here's what they found, and I'll put the results up here on the screen. PMS significantly reduced after the intervention. Dysmenorrhea or cramps significantly reduced after the intervention. PMS and cramps or dysmenorrhea together reduced after the intervention. And vitamin D supplementation was also associated with a reduction in the incidence of several PMS-related symptoms, such as backache and a tendency to cry easily, as well as a uh, decrease in pain severity of menstrual cramps, leading the researchers to conclude high-dose vitamin D supplementation can reduce the prevalence of PMS and dysmenorrhea, as well as has positive effects on the physical and psychological symptoms of PMS. So, great news. Now, another study was also published, and I'll put the abstract up here in the screen on this study. Vitamin D supplementation for premenstrual syndrome-related mood disorders in adolescents with severe hypovitaminosis D, or severe low vitamin D. Now, in this case, there were 158 girls given vitamin D or placebo. And again, here are the results. Anxiety decreased. These are all significant decreases, by the way. Anxiety, irritability, crying easily and sadness, and a lessening of disturbed relationships, while there was no improvement in the placebo group. Conclusion? On the basis of these findings, vitamin D therapy can be proposed as a safe, effective, and convenient method for improving the quality of life in young women with severe hypovitaminosis D or low vitamin D and concomitant mood disorders associated with PMS. So this is great news. This tells us that a simple vitamin supplement, vitamin D, can help improve PMS. Now, what if you're already taking vitamin D or if you have perhaps normal vitamin D levels and you'd like to do more than vitamin D. Well, vitamin D certainly can be helpful and just to rehash this to make sure that you have your, your dosing where it should be based upon some of these studies, a good place to start may be using three to four drops of the formula that I'm using at the clinic, which is functional medicine formulations, vitamin D with vitamin K. It's a good idea to have vitamin K along with vitamin D. I won't go into the details as to why, but certainly not a bad idea to have the vitamin K accompanying the vitamin D at three to four drops per day. So not a huge dose. Now I wouldn't do that dose forever. After a few months, I'd have your levels checked to make sure you're not getting too high and eventually having high levels of vitamin D. But for most people, the battle will be preventing low vitamin D getting into the normal range. Now, what if that in and of itself is not enough for the PMS? Well, fortunately, there's two other fairly simple things you can do to improve your gut, or I'm sorry, to improve your female hormones in your PMS, one of which is improving your gut health. We've documented a number of case studies here in the clinic whereby improving someone's, or in this case, a, a female's digestion, making them less constipated, less bloated, have less abdominal pain, or if they have diarrhea, less diarrhea. These things have all led to improvements in the correlating female hormone symptoms. And there's a comprehensive plan for that laid out in Healthy Gut, Healthy You. We're also working on a quick start guide for the Healthy Gut, Healthy You protocol and a quiz to help you see if you 
also have female hormone imbalances co-occurring along with gut imbalances. So if that quiz is ready by the time this video publishes, then we'll attach the quiz. If not, check back soon, and that should be accessible through our home uh, our homepage. Now, thirdly, you can also use, in this case, I recommend two different herbal blends that help to balance estrogen and progesterone. And the ones that we're using are Estro Harmony and Progest Harmony. Both of these are non-hormonal, meaning they don't contain any hormones, but rather they contain herbs that help to balance hormones. And I've seen these be very effective when women are doing everything else right, vitamin D, diet, lifestyle, gut health are all, are, are all dialed in, but they're still not quite where we'd like them to be. These herbs tend to give a gentle push for the hormones and get them in the right direction uh, where sometimes these other interventions have not had quite enough punch to get us there. So by doing these three things, vitamin D, improving your gut health, and using an herbal supplement to balance your female hormones, there is an extremely high probability that you can see your female hormones balance and the corresponding PMS and cramps and irritability and sadness and moodability all increase. And if you're a woman suffering with these problems, I wouldn't go another day because you really don't need to. Fortunately, there are safe and natural solutions to help improve the majority of these cases. So this is Dr. Ruscio, and I hope this information helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.